bigger. Shall we rise to begin the Eucharist? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My dear sisters and brothers, I welcome you to this celebration, to the breaking of the bread. And as you can see the little banner that Zachary has prepared, he is here to receive First Communion and let us support him with our prayers. We welcome the community, we bless them, and we thank them for being part of St. John Vianney. So let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are the way, Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the Holy Spirit, coming near and dwelling graciously within us, may make of us a perfect temple of his glory. And we pray that as you bless Liz Rico with eternal life, you may bless Zachary with health, happiness, and peace of mind, and a long life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away from them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my way. I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak and keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And when he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. And they were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. And they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your response be 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Please repeat. Alleluia, Alleluia. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part for your temple in Jerusalem. Let the kings bring you gifts. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Your kingdoms of the earth sing to God, chant praise to the Lord who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds the power of the Lord. Confess the power of God. Alleluia, alleluia. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome is his sanctuary, is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Alleluia, alleluia. Please rise for the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that uh, you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me. And I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I'm coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. How are you this morning? Good. Would you like to be seated? My dear sisters and brothers, I love the gospel of the day and the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles where Jesus and Paul would tell us what they do for us, for the people. How, on account of the mission that was entrusted to them, they would subject themselves to hardship, to pain and persecution and eventual death, so that they may do what God wants them to do. In other words, they tell us, that they give themselves completely to the mission. And that would be to all of us. Today we celebrate the first communion of Zachary. And as the Lord comes 
in the form of his church to feed this lamb today. I'm reminded of uh, those artifacts that were brought out from a sunken ship about 400 years ago. A Spanish ship sank near the coast of Ireland. And deep sea divers that went into it brought out artifacts one after another that were there in the depths of the ocean for more than four centuries. But what caught the imagination of people there was a wedding band. On the inner side of the band was the etching of a hand holding a heart with the words, what more can I give you? My dear sisters and brothers, dear Zachary, this is what Jesus says to us every time we come to break bread. What more can I give you? Because he tells us, my body given for you, my blood shed for you. What more can I give you? And so as we go through this Eucharist, let's open our minds and hearts in gratitude to the Lord who gives us all that he has and all that he is, his body, his blood, his spirit. We'll celebrate that in the coming week. And more than that, he also, to an extent, shares with us his relationship with the Father. And he became one of us so that we could become divine in our own way because of our association with him. And so, let these words, what more can I give you, the words of Jesus be on our minds, and let us see how we can, in our own day-to-day -day life, reciprocate that love. Please rise. For the church of God, who is the body of Christ, that just as Jesus gave himself away, himself in love, his body and blood, so may you and I, the church of God, the body of Christ, be prepared to give ourselves away in selfless love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our nation, that even as we just celebrated the Memorial Day, we may remain grateful to the many that have laid down their lives for us. We pray to the Lord. For those in our neighborhood, in our parish community who may be ill or who may be anxious, that they may experience the peace of Christ, we pray to the Lord. For the repose of the soul of Elizabeth Rico, for whom we offer this Mass, that God may grant her eternal rest, we pray to the Lord. For Zachary Albano, who receives First Communion today, that God may bless him, and that this journey that he begins with Jesus will last a lifetime, we pray to the Lord. For all young families in our parish community that are preparing for First Communion, for confirmation, and for adults that are preparing to be taken into the church for full communion, that God may bless them and hold them close to himself, we pray to the Lord. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Let's rise and pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after the resurrection, Christ plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Elizabeth Rico, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, especially on Zachary Albano as he receives the body and blood of your son for the first time, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our beloved spouse, with St. John Vianney, Don Bosco, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may come to be co west to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's sum up our prayers and petitions for Zachary as he receives First Communion as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, love and forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. And if you are by yourself at home, we invite you to share your peace, to send your peace to those around you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. This moment may be a poignant moment for those of you who are at home, unable to receive First Communion. And as Zachary comes forward to receive First Communion, hold him in your prayers and hold our community as well and pray that the day is not far when we will come back to church to break bread together. As Zachary comes up for First Communion, I invite you, those who are at home, to engage in spiritual communion. Remember, the Lord wants to come to you more than you desire to receive him. And that is the truth that we believe in. And so, open your minds and hearts to the Lord. Zachary, the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
the body of Christ. As Zachary has received First Communion and communes with the Lord, I invite all of us to make this prayer as our own as you engage in spiritual communion. My Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament we love you above all things and we desire to receive you into our soul. Since some of us cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as you come to us and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. and bless Zachary Albano with a lifelong relationship with you. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that your son may continue to bless us with this body and blood, which we know he always does, and may it bring eternal life to Liz Rico. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On behalf of our parish community, I'd like to congratulate Zachary Albano. Please come up, Zachary. Kurt. Come on, look into the camera and smile at the whole parish community. <laughs> Good. I... Uh, incidentally, uh, a year ago, we welcomed uh, Wes and Charlene into our community together with their son, Zachary. We are glad that they are a part of our community. Do you like to say hi to the community? <laughs> Wonderful. The church may be empty, but people are watching from home and uh, they bless you and we are grateful that you are with us. So go home and let the party begin. God bless, good. Wonderful. If you would like to take a photo of uh, Zachary there. Zachary, stand near that banner there. 